<laughs> so hey guys, hey, 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 and thank you guys for joining us for another Speak Easy interview. I am interviewing the amazing Miss Dorothea Robinson, and she is the author of not one, not two, not three, but like six books, y'all and has done it in less than a year. So I'm going to talk to her and give, like, allow her to give you some insights. You know, Speak Easy is always about the behind the scenes of what it means to be a speaker or an author and the bumps and lumps and bruises that we get along the way. Those who do not know, I am your host, Altavis Pelzer. I am the voice coach, not a voice coach, but the voice coach, equipping women to define, accept, and use their unique voice as an author or a speaker. And we have the amazing Miss Dorothea Robinson. Hey, Dorothea, let them know who you are, sis. Hi, my name is Dorothea Robinson, and I'm an extra strategist. As Altavis pointed out, I help women who have decided that I need to be out of my domestic violent relationship. From that moment, I help them devise plans, strategic plans to get them to safety, safely. That's what I do. No loss of life. It is absolutely important that lives are not lost through the process. And it happens. So, Altavisa, thank you so very much for inviting me this afternoon. Thank you. I'm so super excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am super excited to have you here. So I want to say, first of all, thank you for coming, of course. But I also want to say congratulations. Oh, thank you. Super like nervous. Didn't know what, like, oh gosh, am I doing this for real? But there was a need to make sure that information was, you know, pressed out. And so, yeah. And how about out of my mouth, I made a challenge. And so I had to stick to that challenge. And so it was attended a wonderful, wonderful Write Your Book in the Weekend webinar with the host, Alta Vies Pelzer. And found it coming out of my own mouth <laughs> one, I don't know, it was it one weekend. I said, you know what? We all attended this class. Let's get it going. Let's make it happen. And so that's exactly what the challenge was about. Let's press out a book. And I did it. But then when I was working, I decided, I said, wow, you know what? A workbook really needs to go along with this e and then I said, well, you know what? Affirmations really need to go along with this book just so that people can be able to write out some things, you know, write their process, how they got through, because these are the things that helped me. I had to have, affor you know, great affirmations, words of, of encouragement, various scriptures that I used in order to get me out of my domestic violence situation, which, you know, propelled me to move. And so then I wrote about it. And then I decided, well, I need to share the affirmations. So I wrote a book, affirmations, you know, and then there was the workbook. I had to share that so people can write out their own experiences and read along as they go. So the three that came about came out in a weekend and it really shocked me because Altavis always says, you always have something to write. You always have something to say. You need to put it down because you can. And that's what I did. And I shocked myself. So those of you who are out there thinking, well, okay, I can write the book. Know that you can go further, push yourself further because the cliff pusher here, <laughs> I've heard from her enough to say, and he know you can do this. You can do this. And you absolutely can. A year ago, I did not think that I would be able to write anything in a weekend. I, I just didn't think that that I could not write anything in a weekend. And a year ago later, I've gotten three books out in one weekend. So it's possible. It's possible. So don't doubt yourself. Don't do it. You can do it. Definitely. And you made a couple great points there by one saying, don't doubt yourself. And so what was the one doubt that you had going forward before even doing the first book? Not just the ones in the weekend, but before finishing and publishing your first book, what was your major doubt? That I was not equipped enough or 
people would not be interested in what I have to say. So therefore, why do it? Not so. Not so. That's a lie. That's a lie. People are interested. People need to hear what you're saying. People need to hear your thoughts. They need to understand what you went through so that it will help them out with their situation. That is not cliche. That is just not me saying or just repeating what you hear out to these say all the time. It's not that. Please know and understand people are really interested in what you have to say because they want to possibly apply what knowledge you've gained through your turmoil, through your crisis, through your experiences, so that they can apply it to their lives, so that they could possibly get out or move on forward and what it is that they're doing. I need you to know that it's really important to put it down on paper, to get it written, to express yourself. Um, I quite often hear, and I don't know who said it first, but the richest place in the world is the graveyard. And that is so true if you think about it. You know, I, I realize and I think about the history of just my lineage, you know, the stories that my grandparents and, you know, the parents before them, and they didn't, you know, the, it was just word of mouth. But you understand, you ever play that game, out to these, I know you have, and it's an icebreaker and everybody goes around and whispers a story. And, you know, you say the story to one ear and then yes. you whisper and it's all the way around. Yes. Yeah. And by the time it gets back, it's all watered down, it's all mishmash, and it's totally not what, <laughs> the, what the original statement was. That's true with, with information passed down. You know, it's always hearsay. Why not make sure and ensure that your story belonging to you, which needs to be shared, which must be shared to reach back to help somebody else? That's the chain. But however, you cannot trust word of mouth. Well, I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. By the time it gets to the end or halfway down, it's going to be totally messed up and it's not you. Get yourself represented and, and do it in the form of writing. It's freeing. It helps you record your information so that your legacy can reach back and say, my great-great-grandma wrote this. And this is what she had to say. And it will be able to help him or her even at that point in time to do a certain thing. You can do it. I, I, I know that you can do it. Trust me. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm going to say this. The excuses of, and because I made them up, and I'm going to share me with you. So you all just listening in. <laughs> I told myself, I don't have the money. I told myself, ain't nobody going to listen to what you got to say. These are conversations I had with myself. You are going through too much in your life. You've got crazy stuff going on. You're not going to be able to write. You're not, you don't have time. And you've got to pay attention to your crisis. And you've got to pay attention to your daughters and your kids and the church ministry. We make all excuses about why we can't. Until I had gotten underneath good counsel, good leadership, good coaching. To say you need to make proper boundaries. If this is your story, you have to write. Duty, responsibility, and obligation. You've got an obligation to leave a legacy to your children so that they can pass that on. So the excuse of I don't have enough money, that's a lie. It don't take anything to write. It doesn't take anything to type. It doesn't take anything to even talk into your phone. You have time. Nobody's going to listen to you. Oh, let's go here. And I'm not going to be long, but let's go here. Are you the go-to person? And that's a book that I've written. And that's a, that. Who does the go-to go-to? <laughs> that's the 
seriously, who does, who goes to the go-to person? Are you the go-to person? If that be the case, you've got something to say that they want to hear. Oh, so you are important. People do want to hear you. You need to write. So you tell yourself that you don't have the money. You tell yourself that nobody's going to listen to you. You tell yourself that I'm too busy with too many things that I can't write. Well, basically, that's a choice. Do you choose to leave a legacy? Do you choose to take 10 minutes a day? Out to this, what you say, 15 minutes a day? Listen, what do we do in 15 minutes that, if you think about it, 15 minutes of what? I, I, I don't know. 15 minutes of going through Facebook, liking, posting. 15 minutes. Do you do 15 minutes of that? I promise you, if you do it once in the morning, once in the afternoon, or once in the evening, that's 45 minutes. So take one of them 15 minutes that you normally do and write. Just write. You can do it. It's not, I, I wish that you, I could really deliver unto you because we always hear that statement because I know that I have said it to other people when I have heard it. When they say you can do it, and you know, you throwing your head up like mm, making all the faces that we do. And we often say, because Alta has got it from me, like, yeah, okay, that's you, is what you want to say. That's you, that's what we say. But I, I don't know any other way to say to you that, yeah, that sounds corny, that sounds fake, that sounds like, yeah, that's you, and you know, that's not me. And, but it's true. I don't know what else to say other than you can do it, but are you loving yourself enough to want to make the choice to leave a, leave, leave a legacy? for yourself and then and listen i had a mentor she would say information is good if even if it's bad it's still good why because it moves you to your next level so now that you know that you can write now that you know that you can take 15 minutes out your day now that you know that people will and want to hear what you've got to say particularly if you're the go-to person so therefore put boundaries on 15 minutes a day and get writing. I don't know any other way to say it, but do you love yourself enough to know that you're worthy? Because if you think you don't have anything to say, I wanna, I'm stepping outside into my zone. Are you worthy enough? Do you feel that you're worthy enough that people wanna hear you? Are you worthy enough to feel that other people wanna hear you? And I want to say yes, because if people come to you and want your opinion, who want to, uh-oh, Altavis, pick your brain, they do, they look as far as high school, and I think about what Altavis said once, as far as high school, I sat down, and I just recently thought, do you know people have been coming to me since high school? about the boyfriend problem, about, you know, their family problem. They've been coming to, my nickname was grandma because I had an old mind. You know, I had old ways of thinking. I was the oddball because I was old fashioned and I went to all girls school. So, I mean, you know, they just called me grandma. Go to grandma, grandma will tell you the answer. I promise you it was that way. With that being said, here, you know, years later, <laughs> did I, Understand, wow, people have been coming to me forever. That means they, they've been wanting to hear what I have to say forever. So why aren't I writing? Think about it. If you're the go-to person, if people come to you and call you at all times of the day and night, and you know, you're interrupting your day, asking you questions about their life, what would you do? They want to hear you. Stop. With the just write, just write, just start, just write 15 minutes a day, it's not gonna kill you. So, I got a challenge for your viewers. Here I go. I'm bold enough now to call challenges. I have a challenge for you all. Document this week, and I'm gonna do it too. 
Because I don't want to hear, well, you know, you wrote some books and you got them out there and it's easy for you. No, no, no. As Altavis says, no, no, no. A 15-minute challenge, 15 minutes a day. Just document. Just start with writing. I don't care what it is. Just write. 15 minutes a day. Segue time allotted. 15 minutes. That's it. Just 15 minutes every day this week. And by Friday, see what you come up. I'm going to do it too, 15 minutes. And I'm going to do it in an area that's really hairy and scary for me. Not necessarily scary, but something challenging that I've got to walk through. So, Altavis, if it's okay, because this is your live stream, may I challenge your viewers? Okay. Why, yes, you can. Okay, so the challenge is yes. 15 minutes a day. Just writing. I don't care if it's about the pickles and the cucumbers in the jar and how nice they look. Just write. 15 minutes every day. So let's begin with consistency. Me too. And I'm going to publicly say it's going to, I'm going to chop out 15 consecutive minutes. I don't care what time it is. Just 15 minutes a day. By the end of Friday, come up and look at what you've gotten. How far have, what have you written? Go be shocked. And for me, I am going to write on the area that I'm trying to avoid, but I'm going to do it starting today. And that's Y'all something are- to be said. You know, oftentimes people think that it's, it's difficult when you go into writing a book. And so what they fail to realize is that after you've published one book, one, just one, you become an expert. Everybody will come and ask you, how did you publish your book? What did you do? Did you self-publish? Did you go with a publisher? And how did you do the graphics? And did you put pictures in the book? And did you do this? And did you do that? Literally, people will come to you and they will ask you all 9,000 plus questions that they can ask Google. (laughs) But they would literally come and ask you all of these questions. And what we fail to realize also is that people are watching the process. The process is important. Right. And that's one of the things that she said that was stood out is that the process is important. So even with her doing this challenge, you have to understand that it's the process that you you're going through. You're going through, you know, doing a brain dump and and taking everything that's in your mind and putting it on paper. You're, you're doing the process of saying, I am committed to this. It's a process every step of the way. And, you know, as you do that process, one of the things that she said earlier was, you know, we did a write the book in a weekend challenge. And literally um, that information is still up on my, um, in my store. It's bit.ly forward slash speak aloud. And it's write the book this weekend. And literally I've had women who have written their books and published them. There have been women who have started their book writing process. There have been women who have literally already had books and who went back Mm -hmm. and said, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get this done. And sometimes you need that motivation. You need that support. You just need somebody that's telling you, Hey, I'm doing this too. You're not doing it alone. So for those of you who catch this, wherever, whatever platform you catch it on, by all means, if you decide to join the challenge, put hashtag challenge accepted into the comments. Be this on YouTube and Pinterest, on Facebook, Twitter, um, no matter what, LinkedIn, put hashtag challenge accepted and start taking some time out each day just to write on a specific topic or just to write for this particular book. And let's get it done. You guys, we just started the month of September. If you need help, by all means, go and get the replay of that challenge. It's bit.ly forward slash speak loud. And like I said, you get the replay of that. You find out the resources that you need. You also get to connect with the people in our community and they support you all the way through the process. That's a part of it as well. So with that being said. I want to interject this. Mm -hmm. Now, you've given all of that information. You've given information. So if you're going to sit there and say, well, I, I, yeah, okay, you say right. And okay, you say to do this. If you're sitting there still, yet and still, you've just heard information about how to get resources. That's information to move you to do something. So even if you are 
wavering about accepting the challenge. I get it. That's fine. But then you have information. Alta Vista has good, sound information about how to get this thing done. So the links that she's giving, you need to get there. There's no shame in, I can't get the pen or I just can't do it. That's fine. Get help. She's giving you links. Jill, the, the point is this. We're trying to get people motivated to begin to do things. Even if that means that you physically can't write, although you can, but if you physically cannot come to bring yourself to do it, you've been given a link. You've been given information by Altavis. Get in contact with her. There's no shame in that. But the point is just start moving. She's given links. There's no excuse now. There's help. Okay, so there's help. And she just made another good point. Something that I talk about in the, the class that we did the challenge was that you don't have to physically write the book. There's other resources. So you definitely want to get, get a hold of that information. Get hold. You can get it done. 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 <laughs> so I want to say, of course, say thank you to Thea for coming on. And Thea, let them know how they can reach out to you on social media. And those who are interested or those who may be in a domestic violent relationship, how can they reach out to you? Okay, you can reach me on all social media. On Facebook, it is Darthea Thea Robinson or bit.ly forward slash butterflies are free. You can reach me on Instagram, domestic violence support coach. LinkedIn, my name, Darthea Robinson. Uh, Twitter and Periscope at xitstrategist. That's x.it.strategist. And you can reach out to me. You can send me an inbox. Um, life is important. Your life is important. No matter where you are in life within yourself, thinking that, well, I need to stay where I am. This is just it. You have hope. That's all that we all have is hope. But if you're in a relationship, you're not sure if it's right, just send me an inbox. And if it's not me, someone, I'm quite sure you can reach out to Altavis and Altavis will listen and just be that source of, okay, I got you. Let's work on this. So there's no excuse. Please don't sit where you are if you're not sure you're in a relationship that's messing around or if you are in one. Listen, we, as women, we go through and sit around for too long. 30 years I sat in mine. If you're in a relationship that's not right, please don't wait that long because domestic violence will always end in death. October Awareness Month is coming up, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So some things are gonna be floating around. But Altavis, I thank you so very much for this opportunity. Um, I have, a, you know, a gift for your audience. bit.ly forward slash your 911 crisis. In, you know, your own personal crisis attack, we're never ready. However, we can go through a crisis and we can go through issues if we better understand how to stand without crumbling. So my gift to your audience is bit.ly forward slash your 911 crisis. My gift to your audience, use the code crisis. That will make it free. And I definitely want to make appreciate that. That makes all the difference is that support, that encouragement, letting somebody know that they're not in it alone, that they can get out of it. And again, congratulations, because like I said, you know, this is this has all happened within the last year, guys, that she has been able to publish not just the three she did in the weekend, but also those that she did before then. And so you want to know and understand that, again, there's a lot of people who have been where you are, who are where you are, 
or who are in the position of being where you are and you have something to offer each and every one of them in order to be able to make sure that they can get out of that situation. No matter what it is, I tell you guys all the time that what you have to offer is a blood donation and there's somebody somewhere that needs a blood transfusion. Will you let them live or die? And we really have to make that decision when we decide, are we going to write the book? Are we going to just keep talking about writing the book and keep setting dates? Or are we going to actually take action and get it done? And this 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, this can be your year, no matter what year you see this particular episode, this can be your year to have it done and share somebody. And it's funny because one of the things that Thea says that's always always I love is that she's helping to get another butterfly free and so think about it like that you know whoever it is that you're helping you're helping them to get free of whatever has been holding them back by writing right easy simple right by writing you are helping them be set free and so don't 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 second guess it don't question it if you feel in your heart that it's time for you to start writing, get it done. bit.ly forward slash speak loud. Write the book this weekend. And Thea gave you guys some great resources. bit.ly forward slash your 911 crisis and put in coupon code crisis, which the information will be down in the description on YouTube as well. So I thank you guys once again for joining me for another Speak Easy interview. I thank you so much, Dorothea, for joining thank us you. today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know I love you. Thank you so much. It's been an amazing experience talking to you guys. And I always appreciate your engagement. So don't forget, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to press it out. Awesome.